My favorite right now is the Southwire XD1 circuit wire puller. It's a wire puller that requires zero setup. It attaches to any 18 or 20 volt drill. Um, it's got a 600 pound pulling capacity and allows us to get more circuit wire and light feeder pulls done without ever putting strain on our bodies to try to pull it by hand and or uh, any time setting up uh, a bigger tugger. Um, having the understanding that the work in the future is not slowing down, but the number of hands we can throw at each project is slowing down with there being a labor shortage. So having a contractor with the understanding of how we can get more done with less hands on deck. By teaching them the best practices that they're gonna to continue to use for years to come on wire poles. Uh, and teaching them, you know, maybe some safer methods and tools that can be used to cut down on labor. The uh, Southwire stem reel. Uh, anytime that I have stem reels on the job site, I know that if we have multiple poles to do, we're gonna be changing out those uh, poles quickly be changing out our spools fast without any use of jack stands. I like to use Southwire's triggers, which are a wireless uh, dead band switch setup, which allow the tugger to be operated and killed from both the feed end and the tugging end of a wire pole without any use of cell phone or radio. When planning your wire pole, the more time you spend looking at the what could happen and the more time you spend planning will always save you time executing. When I was on a job site, I took my cell phone and set it on the top of the CT cabinet. It, I got a phone call, it vibrated, it fell off the top of it and fell directly in the sound of it. Um, it had to be then fished out using a, a mouse and pulled out along with about four foot of water my phone got completely submerged in water. Uh, very embarrassing. Um, we'll never do that again, ever.